Hello YouTube and welcome to another video brought to you by KC0 LKV. In this video I'm going to show you my new rig blaster advantage that I'm going to be using on my Yazoo FTDX 1200 for PSK, slow scan TV etc. So for the digital mode. Okay so let's talk about the rig blaster unit itself. So on the front we have our connection for that will go to the radio for the microphone we have uh, our transmit receive level and the vox delay and we have our transmission if we want it to be commanded by the computer or via vox so in the back of the unit we have our usb cable which is actually how the unit powers up we have our serial uh, connection rs232 that will connect directly to the radio you can use software such as ham radio deluxe to control the unit then we have our line in our speaker out our audio out our cw and our control and then we have where the microphone connect uh, from the radio to the unit itself so now the unit also come with several other little addition which I want to show you right now. Comes with a USB cord, sorry, no USB. Come with a three and a half millimeter audio cord. It comes with a variety of jumpers. These are used so that you can pretty much use the Rig Blaster Advantage with almost any radio out on the market. This is for an ICOM RJ45 modular. You have one for a Kenwood round. I have one for a Kenwood RJ45. I have one for an Ayesu RJ45 and another one for an Icom round metal. I'm of course using the Yezu round because I'm using it with my FTDX 1200. So this is the unit and I'm going to hook it up to my radio and show you the usage of uh, the Rig Blaster. Thank you for watching. Hello YouTube. So I have connected my Rig Blaster Advantage to my radio and I'm going to show you the connection very quickly. Uh, so we have the microphone where it used to be. It connects in the back of the radio via the RJ45 right here. Then we have the main audio coming in. Then we have the speaker coming out so that I can still hear with my external speaker. And then we have another audio out, that is the audio for when I'm actually transmitting, which is this little speaker over here. Then we have our RS32, which controls go to my radio. And we have our USB that goes to the computer. So how does the whole work? Once I have everything connected and I have the program installed on my computer, there are a few things that I need to make sure I do on the radio first. So, number one on my menu, I need to go to menu number 39. Menu 39, this is the cat rate. This is the uh, how fast the RS, the cable connects between the radio and the rig blaster unit. Okay, so you need to make sure that whatever you use over here is the same thing that you have set up on your computer for your uh, external port okay so once you have that selected so I'm gonna get out the menu once you have that selected you want to make sure that on your computer you check the setting for your hardware settings okay so quick click so to check your setting you're gonna right click on my PC and you're gonna click to property and from property you're gonna click on device manager once device manager open you want to check your com port you're gonna see that your rig blaster 
is connected to COM5, you double click on it and you want to make sure that your port settings, the output right here, matches whatever you have on your radio. Okay, so once the radio is connected to your Rig Blaster Advantage and you have your HRD software installed on your computer, HRD is M Radio Deluxe. Once it's installed, you're going to open up, it's going to ask you to make a connection to your radio. You're going to notice that if you're clicking on New and you're going to select from the Yazoo drop down menu, the 1200 does, is not present. Well, because the 1200 is not present, you can still use the setting for the 950, which is what I did. And at this point, you want to make sure that you select the proper COM port, which was COM5 and 9600. Once you do that and you connect, this is what you're going to be presented to, which is basically allows you to control the radio from your computer. Now, if we want to use digital mode, we're going to use this other software, which is the DM780. DM780 will open, and this is digital mode. You're going to be able now to use PSKs, low scan TV, and etc. So, once you are in the DM780, you're going to click on the program option, and you're going to make sure that you set the microphone and the audio for your Rig Blaster Advantage input and output, and then you're ready to start decoding and to send out your first QSO in PSK. So let's pick one up, like this one over here. As you can see, once it's connected, it starts decoding directly on your computer. So here we go, fairly simple and very, very basic. Just make sure that you follow the step-by-step -step, uh, setup when you install your M-Radio Deluxe and make sure that you have to use the correct port output uh, COM port and baud rate make sure that on your FTDX 1200 you use on menu 39 you set the correct baud rate that matches whatever you have on your computer anyway 14070 megahertz is the US frequency for digital mode or at least one of them uh, so just uh, tune in and have some fun KC0LKV I'll be QRT for the moment.